sports. You know it though, Fox Sports has a new 24-hour cable network that it hopes can take on ESPN's money-making machine. WSJ Media and Marketing Deputy Bureau Chief Amal Sharma joins us to talk about this one. Uh, you know, it, it's amazing. I saw in your story, ESPN, ESPN generates $10 billion in revenue for Disney. I did not realize the number was that high. That is a lot of money. Yeah, that's, it's a machine, and it comes from two places. It comes from the uh, subscription side, the mm -hmm. fees that they get from cable and satellite operators that carry the channels, uh, and then advertising. So it's about seven billion or so on the subscription side, and and maybe three billion of advertising. Mm -hmm. It is a machine. Right. So Fox is trying to do what what really nobody has been able to do. Remember, NBC has tried to launch a yes. cable network, uh, a sports network. So has CBS. Um, so far, neither of those have really dented right. ESPN and, and at all. Right. And we just showed there the the, the market. You know how many subscribers there were, and you see that the revenue per subscriber per month. I mean. That's a huge red box for ESPN and little tiny boxes for everybody else. I mean, Fox Sports, uh, you know, corporate cousins over here, right? I mean, they have the money behind them to do this. How do they do it, though? Well, I mean, part of the challenge is how do you differentiate yourself? Yeah. ESPN is, is no, everyone knows Sports Center. There's right. several editions a day. It's always, it's all over the air. And they've got all these, all the big rights yeah. uh, locked up. And of course, I have Monday Night Football, Major League mm -hmm. Baseball, the NBA Finals were just uh, uh, on um, ESPN and then on ABC, which is also within the Disney umbrella. Uh, so they, it, they have ESPN2, right. they have Classic, they have uh, the Ocho, right? Yeah. So part of it is they're, they're, trying, to, they're, they're, they're trying to get a different personality here. Yeah. Uh, and as we wrote about today, they're, they're bringing in these sportscasters from Canada who are a little bit more lighthearted, they joke right. around a bit more, they're trying to make that the differentiator, mm -hmm. um, but they're also going to need the big, uh, the big games, the big rights. They've got NASCAR, they've got, uh, they're going to have Major League Baseball regular season and some playoff games next year. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, a, I mean, this is going to be maybe the most significant uh, attempt yet uh, to try to right. do, to and do they, and or take Philbin, on right? Regis, show with Regis. Right, exactly, yeah. So it's a, it's a bit unorthodox, and they're bringing in some former, on the nightly uh, news and highlights show, they'll have uh, a cast. It won't just be highlights like you see on SportsCenter. They're also going to have a panel next next to it commenting on it, and that's going to be uh, Andy Roddick, the tennis star, mm -hmm. uh, Donovan McNabb um, from the, the NFL, old Eagle, Gary right, Payton. Sure. So they're trying to get, you know, get a, a different kind of vibe going. Right. Now, for them, and look, we're all in this media business, we're all very competitive, I understand it, but is the goal, or should the goal be, put ESPN out of business, or should it just be, look, there, there's enough for everybody, we can do this as a profitable venture on our own? Well, Fox thinks, and apparently a lot of other media companies think that there's plenty to go around, yeah. because there are a lot of channels, whether it's regional sports channels, a Dodgers, you know, a baseball mm -hmm. channel, a Houston Astros channel, a um, there's there's so many. There's league specific channels, right. the NBA, TV, it's NFL Network, uh, NHL I Network, watch NFL, NFL Network. 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 Right. So and and people are. If you look at the numbers, they they are pe live sports is is popular when right. when they're especially when they're big games on. So the companies say, look, there's a lot of money to go around. Now it's become controversial in the pay TV industry in particular because they're also, as you could see from ESPN's big number there, five dollars and fifty four yeah. cents. There, it is a big chunk of programming costs. Mm -hmm. It's about 41% of, of the programming costs for pay TV distributors, the Comcasts of the world and, and Dishes of the world. They pay around 40% or 41% to sports programmers. Yeah. So it's becoming a big piece of the pie. And what about, how, how do all those sort of, you know, the, the steroid, the performance enhancing scandals, has that seeped into the dollar, these dollar conversations at all? Because it can't, it does not help the fan base. I mean, people turn away from. I don't think baseball has the kind of fan base it used to have. I know attendance has been down. I mean, does that does do those things fit into the dollar discussions at these networks? There's no evidence. I mean, I don't think that those things are necessarily driving ratings uh, uh, on these channels. But it's in order to be taken seriously, you're going to have to cover those big stories, and that's yeah. something Fox, um, even as they've said. Where we want to be fun, they, they have to be careful because, of course, they're they're going to launch amidst, as you mentioned, the perform, you know, the, the PED sure. scandals, and we saw with Ryan Braun right. uh, this week, and then you've got the Aaron Hernandez situation. Mm -hmm. Can't really joke around about that stuff. So, but yeah, those those things maybe maybe our fans don't love them, but they but they do want to read about it, and they right. do want to watch on TV what what you know to get updated about it. Yeah. Uh, so all right, yeah, Amal, good stuff. Thanks a lot. Thank you.